So of course, our interest in specialization is yoga and yoga practice. So tell us about what you see the implications of these new discoveries being for the practice of yoga. Uh, one thing that uh, I just caught up and that I need to know, uh, learn more on this conference is the new research by Paul Stanley. He did kind of yoga stretches to bioengineer tendons and that's the most pure approach you can have. So instead of killing animals and torturing them with yoga practice that other people have been doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you torture humans with yoga practice, so why it's not fine. do it as well? <laughs> but, you better, but you should ask them before or tell them about it. So they have been putting fibroblasts, which you can just take out of a human or of an animal with a very small needle and allow the fibroblasts to multiply in a cell culture. And then you give them collagen as a nest and you align the collagen in parallel, and that's now called bioengineered tendons. So you have your perfect uh, tendon there, and you have uh, millions of cells living in it. Mm -hmm. And then you create a micro-injury, it doesn't hurt any animal, mm -hmm. but the cells will want to repair it. Yeah. And if you don't give yoga stretch to the cells, it takes them like seven days to, uh, to, complete, to heal the gap again by producing new pro-collagen and winding things together. Yeah. But if you give them once a day five minutes or one minute or two minutes of yoga-like stretching of different amplitudes of how strong or how, how tender you do it, then they repair it more rapidly. And that's very profound. Yes. So they showed that this tissue repair activity can be augmented, can be increased, can be improved by a very delicate stretching for several minutes. So it would mean you stretch not only for getting more range of motion, mm -hmm. but you could be stretching to improve wound recovery. Yeah. And that would be a completely new application. Yes. Or people with cancer, there's another similar study where they showed it has an antifibrotic uh, capacity. And uh, most of us, uh, or many of us, we will die of cancer, but often we get cancer and we don't die from it, we die from something else. Mm -hmm. And whether we die from it uh, depends mostly on how fibrotic is the connective tissue around it. Really? I, I never thought that fascia would get us into oncology, but that's now a very hot topic. And of course the pharmaceutical industry wants to influence the fibrosis, the tissue hardening, that you have around the cancer tissue yeah. with needle injections and with substances. Yeah. But apparently, tender yoga could be the most powerful effect to prevent the stiffening that the connective. And then your immune system has keeps the cancer uh, small yeah. because it yeah. has access. Yeah. So that's one ex ex yeah. uh, application of yoga, of one application of yoga yeah. that I would have never dreamt of. Yeah. And it has great uh, relation to just maintaining the everyday yeah. health and yeah. healthy functioning of your body. Yeah. So it sounds to me like there is a communications aspect yeah. as well to fascia that gets engaged with stretches, with movement. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when you do yoga, you're not just pulling on a leather piece as something that doesn't have life and cells in it. You know, uh, you could measure how, many, how, how long, with how many newtons you would need to pull on a tissue in order to make it longer. But that's, uh, then you could just tear it and read a book at the same time. Yeah. But uh, this is a live tissue that you are apply applying it to. Yeah. There are cells there, and also you are stimulating stretch receptors in the proprioception and the interoception, in the body sensation of the patient or of the person doing it, to yes. you know, in yourself. The mindfulness yeah. aspect, yes. So I think it's a way of incarnating in your body, yes. where even as a person who lives in a sedentary culture, <laughs> and who sits in front of computer and watches instruction videos like this one, yes. you know, <laughs> that, that by a daily yoga practice, or maybe weekly, we can discuss how often you need to do it, you yes. know, in order to still be at home in your body in terms of sensory stimulation. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful.